What's up guys? What's up guys? What's up guys? David with Trade School. Hey guys, it's David with Trade School. I wanted to make this quick video for you. And I wanted to go through another great example of how to run your pressure washing business. <laughs> of this is the new proportioning system that we're going to be trying out on one of my trailers and if it works well then this might be the proportioning system that we uh, that we move to in the future so um, you guys have an idea get this box open real quick okay. so that looks like some uh, just looks like a ball down with some pieces this is your proportioning system So right now we're batch mixing and it takes a, um, one, a lot of time. It's also sometimes can be really messy to, to batch mix. We have really good systems in place at my shop um, to try to cut down on a lot of that, but obviously this eliminates that. And so I'm really um, excited to see what a proportioning system can do for my business and see, see like I said, if this is something we can go to in the future. So. Um, it's honestly a little bigger than I thought it would be, but that's okay. This is a high draw proportioning system because I do have a soft wash that pulls over eight gallons a minute. So the one that I asked them to build for me uh, had two soap dials here so we can pull individual chemicals if we want, our SH dial um, and then obviously our water dial. So I'm super excited about this. This looks really good. It's already on the metal plate. So I can easily just mount this to the trailer, um, hook up everything to the, uh, the barbed nipples, and um, get it flowing. that out to a Honda engine with an AR pump. Um, what we've done now is a little different from the Udor pump that was kind of floating right here. You actually see that uh, we put the uh, vibration pads or hockey pucks, however you want to look at them, below that um, and it's mounted onto this metal plate here which will help uh, with some of the vibrations and then we drill through the base of our trailer and we're installing uh, more underneath uh, the skin. So once we get that bolted down, We'll come over here to the proportioning system. I told you guys I wanted to make a video of us connecting this up. It's pretty simple. Uh, you're essentially going to uh, take this here uh, that's coming out of your proportioner. That's going to be your main water feed. It'll go into this hose right here. And then uh, this right here is for your bypass, and it's actually going to go into your bypass valve here. That way when you let off the trigger, it will just constantly uh, circulate instead of moving back into another tank. Um, we have a three-way banjo ball, banjo ball valve there, and what that's going to do is tank one and tank two are going to be, of the 35-gallon tanks, one and two are going to be bleach. So you'll be able to carry 70 gallons of bleach and at any point switch over uh, to another tank of bleach if you run out. So that'll connect into the SH valve. The water valve uh, is sitting right there next to it. That will actually hook into there. Use the water valve, comes around here into a T that runs out of the bulkhead for the water tank. 500 gallon water tank, so this uh, T, this line, feeds from the ball valve into our eight gallon uh, per minute machine up here. 
as well as feeds uh, that water line now has a barb on it and we'll be able to feed the soft wash uh, system with that. The other thing that we're going to do is we're going to run that one on the third tank is going to be 20 gallons of surfactant always sitting in there and we'll run that line straight into the soap one valve. And so just, just to give you an insight of what it looks like on the inside, we've installed these here and then ran PVC pipe down into the tank to make sure that they're drawing properly. And if you can see down there, we've actually put a filter on the end of that PVC line just to ensure we don't suck up anything or clog up any of our ball valves or proportional unit. So that's essentially our setup. Um, I'm gonna connect all of the hoses and then we'll be able to show you guys uh, exactly uh, what this looks like when it's put together. Alright, so this is the banjo valve I was talking about. What we're doing right now is just tightening down the uh, hose between the banjo valve and uh, the bulkhead for the chemical tank. And then once we've um, got that tightened up around the bar, then we'll move over here. We put a bulkhead into the bottom of this chemical tank. And we'll run a hose from there to there. And then that elbow right there on the ball valve is going to come out into our SH line.